I'm Soledad O'Brien. Welcome to Matter of Fact. Alabama voters will elect a U.S. senator on Tuesday in a contest with huge implications for the nation, for the GOP, and the balance of power. Democrat Doug Jones, a former prosecutor, is running against Republican Judge Roy Moore in a tight race. Moore faces multiple credible accusations of sexual misconduct with teenage girls when he was in his 30s. There are allegations he denies. Allegations that, until last week, kept President Trump from endorsing Moore. Well, now the president has reversed course. He's endorsed Moore. And that triggered funding from the Republican National Committee. If Moore wins and is seated, he could be investigated by the Senate Select Committee on Ethics. And the Senate has the power to expel him. To talk about the constitutional powers that govern congressional ethics, University of Alabama Law School professor and noted constitutional scholar, Dr. Ron Krzyzynski, is joining us. Today, he's in Phoenix. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you for being with us. Let's begin with the Constitution. What specifically does the Constitution spell out besides age, citizenship, and sort of requirements around the state you live in as far as what it takes to become a U.S. senator? Well, you, you've named precisely uh, the constitutional requirements for uh, service in the U.S. Senate, and the Senate uh, as a body does not have the power to augment or add to those requirements one iota. If the people of Alabama elect Roy Moore next week, the Senate will have no choice but to seat him. Uh, a federal court would issue an order requiring uh, Vice President Pence to administer the oath of office and seat him, even if a majority of the Senate wished to exclude him and, and to keep him from, from taking a seat in that body. So Article 1, Section 5 of the Constitution does spell out what could happen. Can you explain what, what that is and, and what, what is the Senate's recourse? So, so long as a quorum of the Senate is present and two-thirds of the members vote to expel a member, the Senate has the constitutional authority to, in theory, seat Senator Moore, uh, Senator-elect Moore uh, at 12 noon and remove him at 12.01. Could it immediately go into an ethics committee once he's seated? And, or do you need a certain number of senators to agree to, to that next step? If a member of the Senate refers a complaint to the Ethics Committee, the Ethics Committee would begin an investigation. It's essentially a kind of quasi-trial before the Ethics Committee, including the calling of witnesses, the taking of sworn testimony, the cross-examination of witnesses. This would drag on for weeks, possibly months, so that uh, the whole spectacle would be, I think, tremendously embarrassing to the Republican leadership, which may give them pause in proceeding, but they've staked out pretty strong territory about what their intentions are if he wins the election on the 12th. Let me ask you a question about something that Orrin Hatch said that I thought was a little strange. He said, well, if he gets elected, that will settle an awful lot of questions. I wasn't sure, what, what do you think he meant by that? Well, uh, historically, the Senate has focused on misbehavior while in office, as opposed to behavior that occurred prior to a person being elected to the body. On the other hand, however, members of the Senate, individually and collectively, have to answer to their constituents and for the body as a whole. And given the nature of the allegations against Roy Moore, uh, I think a lot of Republican senators would find it difficult to explain to their constituents why they did nothing while serving with someone who was credibly accused of serial uh, sexual abuse of a minor. Al Franken resigns. What kind of a precedent does that set? I think that would put incredible pressure on the GOP leadership and on the Democratic and Republican caucuses to uh, pursue with alacrity the expulsion proceedings against uh, Senator Moore, if we also assume that he's, he's elected next week. Uh, it would send a clear signal that behavior, sexually inappropriate behavior, prior to service in the Senate, serves as uh, grounds for removal from the U.S. Senate. Ron Krodzinski, thank you for joining us. Appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. You bet.